So if you get the delineation this morning, Molimu mentioned it earlier. Mm. Eight pages of auctioneers. Gutahua. Kuchotua. Here's the thing. 99.9999999% of these people belong to the amen. They are men. So there's a question I want to ask you ladies. This morning I want us to talk about bailing your man out. You have found out it's not something he had planned or something you knew from a long time ago you have found out today that he owes a million shillings or two million shillings to someone and he's been auctioned would you bail him out because imagine these eight pages would probably be one if the ladies played their part if you came to find out your man owes 500,000 somewhere mm. and is being auctioned mm. and you've got the money with you in your bank account mm -hmm. would you bail him out exactly you see your man is on the red na hiyo pesa anatumia on you na unajua vizuri uko ina ile pesa ya chama unaweza nigawia kidogo because at the end of the day, you are also a beneficiary. That's my question this morning, ladies. Is it that difficult to help me as your husband? And you can see, and you have the money, and we know you have the money. And we I'm your husband. Shall I give you my advice, ladies? Huh? Wacha kwenda huko wewe ngoja kwanza uniuliza swali moja wacha kwanza ku, kupiga kona ukienda huko Rudi Sasa nimefanyaje Rudi kaa hapo kwanza Ta kwenda huko unataka kwenda You ask a very good question Your man has a problem He needs 500,000 shillings You as my wife the father of your children and you have the money Unaweza nikopea hiyo pesa kwa kikundi yenu yeah. Okay, ladies, before I give my opinion, why don't you give me a call? You're saying, first things first, how did he use the loan? If he used it responsibly, I will bail him out without expecting a refund. You're a special lady, Lydia Kibicho. Because me, my advice to you is, if you did not know of that loan when he was taking it, what business does he have coming to ask you for it? Seriously? What business does he have coming to tell you niko na na loan ya 1 million mali nilipie <laughs> Ebu te talk to me hello Hi Maya Hello good morning Say hi to Kingani uh -huh, good morning Kingani how are you Good morning I'm fine Happy belated birthday Ah Santa sana 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 So now Yes I can never bail out a grown up You cannot bail a grown up I would even work together with the auctioneers. Yeah. <laughs> You'd even work with the auctioneers? Yes. Because was I Oh, Nina, I muni kopo luko na kuja kwa nyumba after three days. Eh eh. Oh, solidary, kizi kuripia. Uta muangali ya kizama ivyo. Ata kama ni vitu na bebo na toa. Na wasaidia kutoa kudini mto hizi. Uta saidia auctioni ya kutoa kwa nyumba. Yes, and then after that, the money that I have in my bank, I can go buy land or something or rent. Ni mondoke. Uni mondoke. Ni chomeke vizuri sasa. Ni chomeka hata we uki, uki zikunyo hatu. Ni kuwa na wewe? Nabana. Who was your garanta ukikopa? 
By the way that's a good question who was his guarantor eh hey. oh, thank you so it's been getting a new side chick sindio hai so now that the side chick amekula pesa zimeisha ndo unakuja kwangu oh no ipro kata judas haya utawasaidia mpaka kutoa meza si hata nawafungulia kama ni store tu yani wachuma huku sawa sawa yeye ndi possible hata wewe ubebwe uende hata mimi nibebwe <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so. As- have, a, have a good day my darling. You here? So, so. This a lady we were talking about with Molimu yesterday. We would not mention her name. But we wondered why African men like this. There was a lady who was doing the rounds on social media. She's 59, black lady looking for a man. Molimu was so astounded. Nike <laughs> Why is it have you ever noticed that muzungu men can come here and marry a 45 year old woman and it's okay at a 50 even 50 and they go and live happily ever after what is it with african men the options are many that you know ladies once you hit 30 an african man seriously thinking of marrying you impossible ina kwa ngumu What is the cut off age for marriage for women in in Africa? So you give me a number. Ni muhimu mmalize hiyo kitu at that. After 30. 35 maliza chapter finished. Because by the time apate mtoto afike 5 years ni 40. And what's wrong with 40? Yeah? You're talking about 40 like it's the end of the world for ladies. <laughs> Sio mimi biology niemba kwani ulikuwa unasoma wapi biology na ndio una skills very important for ladies to maximize his 20s maximize and be telling them na wachake kuwaficha by 30s maliza tafuta mtu settle down pata mtoto move on because after 35 it's impossible inakuwa pressure inakuwa i need pressure. you ladies to give me a call because who is supposed to marry you jamaa ako miaka ngapi no we need to start saying to zingine the, the ukweli wa mambo at some at some age kuna age unafika you need to dedicate your life to kanisa <laughs> unafaa kwa rema fest saa hii wameanza saa 2 oh my god ai mm. san antonio tony saying 59 oh, san antonio i love what you just told me on uh, x mm. kuna lady ako 45 na ananiambia nimtaftie jamaa uyo uyo ako miaka ngapi huyo naambiwa atafutane <laughs> She's she's young, the, he's young, he's young. Yeah. But her she's 45. She's looking for a man. Yes. To do what? <laughs> to settle down now. No. <laughs> you know Pia, we need to know for I what reason. Gagi, you're so mean. Yeah. If you give me a call, okay. She's 59, she's looking for love. Doable? That's my question this morning. Philip Madeka Wamboni, you cannot be this mean. You saying at 59 you should be looking for ways of how you're going to die peacefully. Really? Philip Madeka? Governor Kogu is saying minor. She is milk. You are wine. Time is a Catrice Paribus. Good morning. Good morning. Sasa nikuuliza Maina. Eh. Hey. Utumeenda nyama choma na wewe. Eh. Uh-huh. Umeenda butire tukakuta kuna nyama mzuri iko na mifupa. Eh. Ingine ni minofu. Eh. Utachagua gani? <laughs> Ile mzuri, minofu hiyo. Utachagua utachagua mifupa? Minofu, minofu, minofu. Alafu nikuulize. Mm. Eh. Tumeenda Brookside tumepata maziwa. Mm. Maziwa inatolewa nini? Inatolewa ki. Eh. Na ki. Yes. Sasa uta utachukua ile fresh ya ngombe ama utachukua ile imetolewa cheese na imetolewa gif. Nataka hiyo fresh. Sasa maina unaona hawa watu wanauliza mapenzi wakiwa na six pack. Eh. Hao ni wale wa mama walikuwa natuliingia tukiwa vijana. <laughs> eh. Unajaribu kumweka box amekataa. Sasa hiyo akanaona kanaringa sana unaona hapa market hapo. Eh. Sasa wote fikia miaka ingine watu wote kumwacha. Eh. Sasa jana kidia kutafuta mapenzi wenye tisule. Okay. Mimi naambia mimi ambia wanawake Yeah. When you get a chance to get love, go for love. Yes. Watu wache maringo. Mm. Na tukienda nyama choma kila nyama yenye iko na hata mzungu kumuto ile alisema ukitaka kula ngulue kula gani? Ile imenona. Aliyenona hapa tupo demaina. Good day.
My God. Okay, now Molimu is feeling targeted. Ah, ni la story ya jana? Yes. Kabisa. <laughs> There's a little called in yesterday. And this could be the reason why we are seeing this phenomenon. Of older women and much, much, much younger men. Listen to what she had to say. And if you're a man who is over 35, in 40, mukai hapo kwa kona, mungoje, skiza, okay. Like the other day I was having a discussion with women and they say the men their age are not even able to satisfy them in bed. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. it reaches a point in a woman's life, they become very sexually active at a certain age. And when you look at this man, he's only been able to do it once. And he's like, okay, I'm done. You know, he's a one minute man. But it's a very serious state of affairs. Let's gear. First of all, can you now understand why? Do you now get it? Do you now get it? Do you know, first of all, hmm. the Kikamoja new example. <laughs> Do you now get it? It suddenly all makes sense. So women at at certain age, they become you can't keep up with them. You can't. Accept you've lost the battle. Accept it. We haven't. Na iyo dakika moja ni mingi sana iyo monadharao. Can you accept you've lost the battle? Because you have. You just can't keep up with her. What has changed all of a sudden? What do you mean what has changed? Hmm? What has changed all of a sudden? What is this demand? What is this uh, Aitoshi? Where has it come from? We've never had it in the past. Hii wamekula kukumanga ama wamekula nini? What has changed all of a sudden? They want too much. We never used to hear that. Eh? Okay. What do they want? What do they want? Na datika tatu ni miki sana including kufunga mlango. <laughs> so Wewe you, jaribu you, you, kuingia kwa swimming pool eh, Uingia uko chini deep end eh, Ukaida kamoja eh, Uniambia kama <laughs> Kama uta survive No No It's a high time also We talk about that one minute <laughs> Ati ingia kwa swimming pool eh, Uke uko chini eh, for one minute One minute eh, <laughs> Ufunge mapua Kone kama utakufa wewe <laughs> You know sometimes I just have to I just have to clap for you. <laughs> oh my Every god. Every minute counts. Hiyo dakika mwisho ndio Manchester inapea kwa penalty. Oh my god. Okay. Bro, bro we need also <laughs> to see things <laughs> in perspective. Yes. <laughs> and people need to be grateful. And so the ladies need to be grateful. Oh my god. And appreciate it. So you think our ladies are very ungrateful? Very. Very. First, I appreciate. First, appreciate. Appreciate. And that's a lot of time. Okay, I need you to give me a call. At what age do they become very, very active? All of a sudden. Do you also to be done for university to English up? Na mutu ambaya fikiriku file returns za KRA uwezi compare na muzea hapa ambaya kona pressure za kichwa. Frederick Macau Baba Magals is yeah. saying we haven't lost our battle at all. One minute is enough. Yeah. Why does a 60 year old woman need spanking and hard sex like she's 20? Why? And they need to remember when we used to be there. Hmm? Jennifer Kanyiri is saying that the thing that matters is quality. Men are being lazy. Men above 35 are lazy. Oh, what was that is up? Watch your figure 40. Seriously, there is a problem. <laughs> if you don't realize the problem, guys, you should always go for younger, younger, younger men. Yesterday we saw the stark difference between 66 and 23. That's three times older. Hello. Hello, Classic. Hello, good morning. Those people who go for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, are, those people are jobless, number one. 
kabisa. People who are busy, eh? you will be, you'll be busy looking for money. You can be busy in bed. Another thing is a minor. The the family planning they use they affect men. So you'll find a man. The family planning they it will affect a man in a way that he can't last longer in bed. The economy. Apana. Hey. No, no. The, the family planning they use. The family the planning. Hold on. Yes. The family planning methods that women use affect you. Yes. They they do affect. Medically, you can re- do a research. Yes. Aye. Yeah. So ladies need to reason too <coughs> why they use the chemicals in their b- bodies that affect the men too. Asante. The royal visit. The king and the queen landed last night in Nairobi. The U.S. Secretary of Defense flew in here a month and a half ago. What are these people seeing in Kenya that we can't see? Bakule Cherongos, Vipi Kiongos, Mambo Vipi. What are these things that we can't see? If you go to any corner of Kenya and give a Kenyan a passport with a U.S. visa, ata wata rudi nyumbani kubadilisha nguo, will be out like a light. What is it that these guys are seeing? It's a question I'm asking. The king of England just didn't come for nothing. Shefran Uchen, good morning to you. Saying, I only wish I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I wish I was to choose where I was to be born. Kenya inge kuwa kwa hiyo list. Tukona wewe, by the way. Kuna maalu unaenda. Na ujwe Kenya bado wanaturang kama that world. That world. Napa ndiyo kuna headquarters za UN UNICEF inaitwa je iko hapa kigiri UNEP UNEP a third world country what are these things that we can't see vet morag paul don't saying second colonization loading how mm we we'll mourn after the way the preachers are coming here by the way all these evangelists all these international ni, ni, ni. Sharon Shannon, good morning my darling saying hiyo line ya kuondoka Kenya yuko wapi ni ingie just so you know imagine those who live around the river are never in a hurry to fetch water instead those who come to do it from far do it very early in the morning let Kenyans learn a lesson that's very deep right that is there. very interesting Sharon what is it that these guys are seeing that us we can't see me that is my question this morning if you can answer me, I'd more than appreciate it. Hello. Maina and Kenyangi. Good morning to you. Morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Let me tell you something. Ebu niambie. Kenya ni kuzuri ukiwa na pesa. Ehe. Ukiwa na pesa. Exactly. But when you don't have money. Hey. Ai. Unashindwa where to go? I turn east, west. Oh, where? That's true. Unaona kuku kwa pale town eh. you can't even eat. <laughs> That's true. But when you have money you decide which hotel to go? Yeah. Where to travel? Yeah. What to do? Yeah. And you plan your money but if you don't have money Kenya is the I, worst country if you don't have money. It's the worst country. Like me I work 18 18 hours a day. Hell? Yeah. Can you lie and get one person happy? Oui, you'd be very wealthy. You yes, are... That's why I need to go there. I come and spend money here. That's why they need to come and spend money here. So if I gave you a passport with a US visa, you would go? Hey, right ahead. You are... I go, I work because I know I'm a hard working person. Yeah. And I'll get money. Yeah. And come back and invest in Kenya. I can buy land. I can buy a house. It's the best country to live when you have money. When you have money. Yeah, but you don't have money. Wow. Like now, if you want to travel, you can talk a job. So you'll go. Yeah. You work for 18 hours. Uh, yes. Kasa hii niliamka saa ngapi 5? Na nitalala saa 5. How many hours are those? What? 18 hours a day. Eh, yeah, so na hiyo ni kungangana huko tao. So you leave so, wa, you will leave work at 11 p.m. tonight. 
Eleven dio hiyo ni melana. Do you work on weekends? Mimi sina ngata hobby. 18 hours ma, 18 hours Monday to Monday. Na kwanga tu na siku moja. Na hiyo siku ni ya kufua nguo kutengeneza nyumba yangu. Na bado nitachoka times two ya vile nitaenda kazi. Wow. Kwa kitu huko nikinyang'ana na kanjo wamekuja wamechukua pesa. We live a hard life. Ni Mungu tu anatupatia anga nguvu and I thank God. Yeah. Asante sana. Sweet. We? Ah, amazing. 18 hours. How much do you get paid? Monday to Saturday, eh? How much do you get paid in the US per hour? About 20 bucks, 20 dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Goja kwanza. 20 times 150. Yes. Ama? Ama? Yes. 3360 per hour. Yeah, so times 18. Eh. 60480 per day per day that's what she should be earning if she was in america now because ayuko i earned it i have one and i earn 1.8 14 400 million 1.8 million per month per month that's what she should be earning <laughs> hey good morning minor morning this is mwangi jake from nakuru yes mwangi mambo vipi niko poa eh uh-huh. food be told Eh. If you don't have money in Kenya, you are not making it. Yeah. This is reserved for the people who have the money. Kenya is reserved for the people who have money. Yes. And it's not that Kenyans are not seeing. Kenyans are seeing that they cannot make it here. Eh. Out there are so many opportunities and there is money. Yeah. But I'm coming in Mekua truck driver, I keep telling you that. Eh. eh. And you are paid 17,000 per month. Yeah. 17,000 per... Do you know if you're a truck driver in America, you'd be making so much money? That's what I'm telling you here in Kenya. You are paid 17,000 per month. Ah, yeah. And you know, truck driver, you don't have working time here. You wake up at 5, it depends on the shift yako at kama ni sasita. Na wana kutuma anywhere? My wife is in Canada right now. Yeah. And she's working for only eight hours. Yeah. Seventeen dollars an hour. Yeah. That is thirteen thousand six hundred in just eight hours. Yeah. Yes. You need Mshara Yako plus. Plus. She's making that in just eight hours. I'm in here for more just at this. I'm a manager of Shuguli. I'm on Mshara Angu. Do you know if you're in the U.S. Eh. Yeah. Trucking. Mm-hmm. Would be making you an average of fifty dollars an hour. Eh? That's why you're seeing minor. So many people are willing to invest in that. They want to move out from here on their own to facilitate themselves. Kenya, you may find your sabu. Fifty dollars per hour times eight per day is what? Fifty times one fifty. Eh, sabu yaraka raka. Eh, seven thousand five hundred. Seven thousand five hundred. Yes. Times eight. Times eight. Yeah. You only sixty thousand. You'll be making 60,000 a day, just working 8 hours a day. Just imagine. So if you work 20 days, that's 1.2 million. Per yes, month. you go work the day. Now, you know, I'm a former driver, a lorry. Yeah, we mean it is the end of I drove those trucks. You're making a lot of money. Yes. Now, you see the person being sad. But on a contact, see what you're Upon the American man in UK. <laughs> UK and the US, I worked in both. Now connect your contracts, bado. A bada. I 17 G's for a truck per month. Because if you do that times 20 days, you know that's 1.8 million. 1.2 million per month. 20 days only. Weekends nizako. Weekends nizako. Okay, okay. To muambia matusi muambia. Hey, is a guy who called in yesterday. Ooh, we. I want you to listen to this madness, eh? Honestly, listen. Me, I've been jobless for like one year, okay? This woman works. Na yeye, anapata pesa, ainaleta nyumbani, okay? This woman is so loyal and she's so good. She brings, she brings her salary at home and she asks me, uh, my man, 
what can we do with this money so mimi kwanza namwambia toa pesa yako ya nywele toa pesa yako ya mguo eh. yaani and the rest that remains then we start budgeting from there <laughs> eh eh let me tell you something gentlemen iko peril ni peril even if a woman is a dollar billionaire she needs a man who gives her money have you written that down somewhere si andiki even if a woman is worth 10 billion dollars the man she will value is one who gives her shika hii elfu moja weka hiya time shika hii elfu moja mia tano go and do your hair why do you like making other men no. feel more important than others <laughs> when they have humble wives there is no yeah. humility there that wife there is another mis- man there kwa nini unataka kwa kuwe na kichongumu there is no other man she brings the money home <laughs> let me tell you something there is another man giving that woman money Ah, you can take that eh, to the bank. Na wewe lazima uharibu. No, you there don't want is, to hear a good story. There is a man there, giving that woman money. There is no man anywhere there. She's a submissive wife. What is hard in giving your money all the all the money? And that man has been jobless for just a year. So there's something this woman, this wife, I'm mean, notice with her husband. She's a, he's a very good man. Let me ask you. That man, he's a very good man. Let me ask you. I'm telling you. Is there a man giving this woman money? Me I believe there is. Akuna, there is no way. Hakuna ni wewe unamweka kasumba hapa. This guy has been jobless for over a year. He's mm. never given her even a coin, not even one day. So utaki akimpatia? Eh? She may give him Yes but maybe she's given more than her salary by another man I promise you he will give me a call So let me ask you a question Yeah How long ago did you leave him Almost 4 years ago 4 months ago 4 years 4 years ago Has he got yes. between then and now has he got a job No yeah, I have a job and I've him? always had a job And him yes, has he's never I just came around He's hmm? he's still there and Yes, yes, yeah, he's still. Huh? Yeah. His kid, his kid is 12 years, never done anything. Huh? Unge msaidia. Okay. Thank you very oh, much. Unge msaidia. Seriously, kumsaidia ni msaidia kingani. Sana. He's the father of your children. Unge msaidia. No, he is. I don't I don't deny that. But at the end of the day, at some point it comes where you have to be serious about yourself. Amen. In family to Malaya, I cannot take care of these things alone. You can't and I agree with you and good for you. It's good you made that decision. Ah yeah, I left I left I left. Mtu hawezi kuku. Kuna mwingine na story Kaisha. Mtu hawezi kukuvuruta chini ukijaribu kupanda ngazi. Waacha nikwambie. Eh. My friends used to hook me up literally. Jua alikuwa anaona this is nothing they're doing. Eh? It is a point where at the men you you tell a man your story and the man is like what the hell is wrong with you are you okay So so your friends eventually hooked you up with another man Yes cuz they saw that kuna future eh Your friends Am I you get to go out in public with this man Whoa, what are you doing Pass so so thank you Asante. <laughs> you know, you know, you Guy, see, you see what you see what five years. You see what friends can do. Five you know, years. No, you're not seeing the problem. You see what friends can do. They hooked her up with another man. Five years. Why would you want to do a spoiler marriage? We, you know what we should discuss? Huh? How long should a man be jobless? No, no, apana. Why why are the friends hooking you up with another? You leave the another? friends alone. Apana, kwani wanaharibu marriage ya mtu mwingine? We need to discuss how long ah. a man should be jobless for before you cut him off. Hey, I want you to have the fine old bird. Hello. Good morning. Morning, Titi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Yes. Sasa? Eh, hey, niambie. Mtumie wa sia. Eh. Anashabarikiwa. Ni Abdalla. Ai, Abdalla. Wote na huko. Ai. Ati niambie mwanangu atitufanye nini? Pesa yangu. 
<laughs> it cannot work like that. Not in this Kenya. Maisha ni magu ni kufuge na nifuge ngombe. Hapana. One of you has to live bwana. Na sasa hiyo ngombe haina akili. Kwa hivyo mwenye akili itatoka tu wewe uniachie ngombe. Eh atia msia kishifo loyo. Oh my god. Na labda akikuja nyumbani ile mti amepigwa na huko nje. Alafu anakuja anaongeza yine kwa nyuma inamchanganya. I say you are, you have made my body. Hiyo Kenya. Abdala. Abdala. Bye. We to have our morning conversation. Yesterday was a very interesting day. Me had things from the ladies I'd never had before. As for our students. He. <laughs> he. Our students. I said this was a girl. She was in form 4. She says she needs to use cannabis so she can stop the urge of wanting every man she meets. I mean, it was crazy. addictions and that's what we're going to talk about this morning addictions bila bangi mtu hawezi fanya kazi what addictions do you have that you can't stop you can't stop even if you try baje ushago watu wengi lazima wavute bangi ndio walime so who cause what does it do bangi eh so unajua ni stimulator Kuna bangi ya kulala na kuna bangi ya kukula chakula <laughs> na kuna bangi, bangi, bangi ni bangi. Hapana they are different. What are you your addiction? That one thing you cannot stop even if you try. Ai jamaa anavuta packet nzima ya sigara. Whole day packet. Even ladies. Mimi nimeona hapa. Ni vile uwezi sikia nikisema but a whole packet. A lady anavuta inaisha kwa vile anaivuta ni kama ana advertise. Hmm? Kuna wale lazima atoe lock. What daily. addiction can't you stop you? But do useme kukula hiyo ni kawaida. Eh? <laughs> Yangu ni ya kahawa. You every, take a lot of coffee. Every morning asubuhi 5 I must have coffee. Very strong one. What is your addiction? Black coffee. What can't you stop? Me know many things King Angi does that I'm not going to say them here on the radio. Mm. Cuz I know them. Dizembe. Where? <laughs> I need you to give me a call. Is it that you cannot stop? Martin Karubi saying, "Me for me every weekend I must have a drink. Whiskey is your thing." That's a thing. It's a good thing if you only do it over the weekend, by the way. Tika masisi. <laughs> Wewe ni? Let me just say it's more regular than every weekend. Melvin no mas que Oh my god. If those people knew. <laughs> you are the number one ambassador. <laughs> Walafaa kulipa pesa mingi sana. Sana. <laughs> Wakuletea ge hapa na cotton. Hai umewa support. Hai 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 kila saa. Hai sige, it's not that regular. Eh. eh. Kila saa unasindikiza na hiyo. <laughs> Ukikula kidogo ka samaki unasindikiza na hiyo. <laughs> Wewe hata uwezi naona hiyo ndio shida nyingine. Kunona yako ni ngumu sana. Hai sige, you that's cannot so tell me like that or that's the reason. But you should get asking me ask is sex an addiction? <laughs> Sasa we Sasa Patrick Rudiga what am I hearing this morning Hello Maina Morning Morning too Yeah Talking about addiction Mm Sasa kunyonga imenishinda kuacha Are you for real right now I see I see guys you never go Sasa mama kenastics ndio hiyo Na tu na motumia Na uko na bibi <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I swear, you, 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 you cannot have told me that in the morning. No way. Umesema we ni brand ambassador Arimish. I swear, I cannot do this. Not at this time of day. <laughs> Goodbye, I swear, go away. There's a lady here who's telling me. Kupenda wa babaz ni addiction. Nijuange. Yes, that is an addiction. What is it that you cannot stop even if you try? That is a question I'm asking this morning. Nani yu anataka wa baba? Si wa baba kama wewe. Wake wakona pesa na mjua. We need to differentiate to vote ya wa babas. Na wa papas. Ha 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 ha. So what is your addiction? The one thing you cannot stop even if you try. Need to have our morning conversation. Yesterday was very interesting. With cab drivers. Kumbi, that's what you go through. Jovri Kiyoi. Yangai. By the way, there's some guys, Mualimu, some Buddha Buddha guys who said we left them out. Ata on and nyanyas wasana. Hmm? What's your Buddha Buddha? Eh? You wanna shik waka ma safety belt? They said muli tusahau jana. Mm. Muli tusahau. Mm. This morning, ladies, let me ask you, by the way, why didn't you call yesterday? Bakule cherongos, vipi kiongos. And just for tour, I see you. Ladies, why didn't you call in yesterday? And this morning, we need to talk about male professions that are under threat. Male professions that are under threat from female predation. Steve Wamasaja na endeleaje by the way. Steve Wamasaja bad do you go? Doing very well. Anafungua branch nyingine ama ni hiyo yake. Ye lazima akue kwa kazi. You are a strong man. What are the male professions that are under risk from female predation? That's the question I'm asking this morning. Yesterday I was told gym instructors go through hell. How true is that? And when you say these ladies harass you, what do they do? Especially if you're a gym instructor, you're big, you're strong. No one can overpower you. So when you say when you say unanyanyaswa, what do you mean? Hmm? Hello, man. Good morning. Morning to you. How are you? I'm fine. My husband is a plumber. Eh? Uh -huh. You know the things he goes through. Eh? Uh -huh. Unamuita kwako. Eh? Uh -huh. Ana kutengenezea sink. Eh? Uh -huh. Malipo ni. Eh? Uh -huh. Hiyangu. Ati? Hiyangu. Mwanamke halipi. Plumbers wako na mashida. Kwa hivyo nionaenda kwa manyumba. Eh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ebu ni kuulize. Yeah. How did you find out? Ana sema kuna zingine zimemsumbua. Do you know he get calls hata kwa nyumba. Mtu anamwambia sink ime block saa sita ya usiku. Hey. Imagine. Na anaenda. Hawezi. Mimi wewe anatokea wapi? So akienda kwa hawa wa mama ambaye sink ime block. <coughs> eh. Alafu wanamwambia hawatamlipa na pesa awamlipangi kuna wengine hawalipi especially this career women are bad why don't they pay uh, him because they want him and he najua one eh. ni mjaluo eh ako na hiyo six pack kingani anasema eh they don't pay him they want to they give don't. They... At, and he does not do women stuff nowadays mm -mm. wa mama hawalipi <laughs> and he came home and told you this. It was too much. At first, I was working at a chimney. Maji, I can't believe. Maji, is he doing? Ah ah. I can't even hear my dear. Wa mama apana. They don't. Aya. Plumbers are under threat. Plumbers and I never thought of that. Aya. Plumber, we unangalia tu plumber ni mtu kawaida. 
ku block sink kutengeneza bafu ku drain choo nina ni hizo vitu ndogo ndogo za nyumba eh women don't pay very few of them they want to pay in kind in, yes kwa mama ni wabaya <laughs> okay i am one of them but eh mm-hmm. okay thank you very much hello maina morning morning sir how are you i'm fine thank you salimia kinangi ame salimika uh, let me now contribute to this today's conversation eh uh-huh. maina the people also under threat outside here are the technical people you know a technical person eh uh-huh. He's a person who is hands on, you know, he can do a lot of things. <laughs> are, are you a technical person? <laughs> I am a technical person. Uh, what kind of technical things do you do? When I'm a technician, any technical issue, kiwana fencing, electrical, all those we do. Eh. So when a lady sees a technical person and when you go to their place to assist them with, either with any technical issue, eh. they see you like a, a very capable person. Eh. Uh-huh. So happened your she didn't answer. So what Believe happened? Me, uh, uh, give me I an example. Tumbua. Let's say you go to a lady's house. Give me an like example. Me. What happened to you? Uh, there's a time we went to install the CCTV eh. at a client's place. Eh. You see, you have to first of all uh, upsell yourself, tell them what you, 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 you need to do so that you can get your pay. Yeah. They, they will pay you, yes. You know, you go with your technical people, you do this, one, two, three, four. Yeah. And then once you're packing things and uh, you need to you need to leave eh. you you on your side as the person who was actually in charge you need to remain behind to collect the pay yeah I love kuka indaje she said that okay ni waona mnafanya kazi nzuri mm. lakini mimi nilikuwa nimeko like live live i mind these ladies especially these single professional ladies eh our fichi so what did you do the, I had to back off. I told you because I had to now take an excuse of my guys are still outside waiting for me. Eh. So let me just go sort, sort my guys out. Then we can talk later. Eh. I had to block the number, my friend. Because she was calling you all the time. Call was now, exactly. And it's a problem that is outside there. Because you see, Maina, for people like, for the profession that we are in, you need to go to a client's place. And you find that this client is alone in the house. And then, and then this is a lady. It takes a lot for you to resist and keep it professional. Have you ever succumbed? No. That one I can tell you for true. No. Because once you, once you do it, you do that, then you they've got you by the balls. They'll, they'll now keep on calling you. Because you've already done it. They know that you can do it again. You know? Amazing. Hello. Hello, my name. Good morning. Good morning to Yes sir. Mimi ni mtu wa ndugu. Kunaenda gaje? Kunaenda nga hivi. Hata 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 uzi uzi laumu wa dada. Eh. Ya kunibeba msichana nikapeleka eh. ya kwanza. Eh. Ya pili. Eh. Msichana sasa akakuja aka, aka sasa stage mchana akakuja akaniambia we brother si umipeleke. Kufika ananiambia ni mchotee maji. Eh. Ile kuchota maji eh nita kutumia pesa eh haya ikiendele hivyo ikiendele hivyo niki mbeba beba ikienda kuangalia sasa alikuwa na niambia si uleza kuja tu nikalishe huku kwangu nimebuweka sana eh sasa niko ndio kweli mi nilianguka hiyo mtiani kwa sababu nilienda angu ulienda kuwa ke nilienda kuwa ke alafu na mwisho mwisho eh <coughs> kulienda vile kulienda Eh. kwa sababu nilijibata nimekula mbuzi ee eh. ee eh, mbuzi na zaka hiyo mbuzi ili nifoti kwa sababu si kuweza si kuweza ala kufiche hiyo 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 nini hiyo relationship hadi ika kuja ika nivunjia ndoa yangu ika kufunjia ndoa imagine eh. kwa sababu ilifika mahali ma, msichana alianzaka hata kulitumia teki sasa ako impatient eh? eh. hata alikojua kwa sasa niko, niko na bibi eh sasa ndiyo sasa alikuwa alifuata kabisa sasa kumbe alikuwa sasa sasa kumbe anataka sasa kulitoa hata kwangu sasa na alisafid eh, eh. aliningoa mimi ni kuiachana hata na hiyo bibi yule hiyo msichana tu na, ba, na bado uko na yeye huyo msichana 
Aduliru di tu kaca na, rasa siapa waktu korau korau, korau yang tak gimali. Wow, okay. I've been just following your tweets on social media regarding the tax reforms underlined in the finance bill 2023 they are quite heavy quite heavy yesterday i was watching victoria rubadiri doing shopping with a thousand bob <laughs> You know me, I'm just feeling for you if you're a parent. Because by the time you deal with all these taxes and then school fees, me, you're the one I'm feeling for. Now, the bill proposes a 3% deduction from every worker's salary towards the National Housing Development Fund. You pay 3%, your employer will pay 3%. NHIF deductions have been increased. Your NSSF were increased, Kitambo. If you are earning 500,000 shillings and above, your PAYE has gone up from 30% to 35%. Meaning if you earn 500,000, you'll be paying over 200,000 in taxes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, if you're a digital content creator, this is where a lot of young people fit in. You'll now be paying a 15% tax on payments relating to digital content monetization as withholding tax. Withholding tax before used to be 5%. It's gone up to 15%. And they are going to be looking at all your posts. Paid partnership with. See you on Friday at. Wanajue yon pesa. Now me, I'm saying the president needs money. Where do you want him to get the money from? David D said, look, someone give us a better, a, be, a better solution. What is hurting you right now? That's a question I'd like to ask today. What is hurting you right now? Economically. Is it the same issue with doctors? Everyone. Naima Futa on Asamo and Nataka Kuangalia. That one has to go up. Yeah? It has to go up. Where, Naile, where, Naile, where, Naile, where is the government going to get money from? Naile to discover. <laughs> Young Amiawan. Yeah. You know, you're going to get a lot of money. You're going to get a lot of money. Where can we get money? Do you at least think it's easier, even for the government? How many wages will be coming? Where, where will the government then, get money? What do you want the president to do? Let me ask that question. And I need you to give me a call. Let's have a candid conversation this morning. Tijere Yakiambu, you ask me one very interesting question. Money, you want to tell me that Kibaki's regime was not collecting any taxes? How come money circulated then? Anthony Wanjo is saying the president needs to reform the civil service and address wastage. It's reported 30 to 40 percent of the annual budget goes to waste. Second spot is the county governments. Local revenue raise should cater for their overheads and remits from national government spent on development. What do you think? Hello. Hello, Maina. Good morning. Hey, Maina. On a human bona joy, you see, sir, Kalia Kwanza. Like, uh, if I use Kibaki's uh, uh, government as an example, yeah, who turn it to the to collect a revenue. Yeah. Like in corruption, I kwa me to Kenya Angalia Kwanza, we must uh, look in uh, corruption. If you cut corruption, yeah, then the little amount you collect, it a it atosha vichinya in a fairly fanyo if I kwa Kenya in terms of development. Actually you're right, and the former president had said that we lose two billion shillings a day to corruption. Yes. Okay. Thank you very so, much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't embrace it three percent because uh, the little money we earn, we share it with you. No, then we want to introduce another three percent. Yeah, yeah, cut. I don't think uh, if this one will work. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, me now, Lisa. Hey. If you can take three percent, do the housing two point seven. Uh huh. Now an account to Ule Mwenye and a little five hundred thousand. Hey. 
hiyo mshahara inapatikana kwa wapi juu sijaiona <laughs> for the time hiyo <laughs> eh? ya 500,000 hiyo mshahara eh hiyo ya 500,000 inatokanga wapi juu sijai hata aiona ama sikia bali mimi nafanya kazi I've worked for 23 years okay na mshahara yangu nikikwambia hata hajaifika basic hajaifika hata 100 na ni 23 years Alafu sasa unaandua ukatwe hiyo taxi yote, housing wapi? Mtu kama hataki kujengewa nyumba siakae. That is a good question. Ukai. That's a good point. Mtu kama hataki si lazima tujengewe nyumba. Ie NHF na kato hiyo pesa yote unkienda hospitali unaambiwa ulipe, enda ulipie hii dawa, enda ulipe hii x-ray. Inasaidia nini? Nyata na sikio already I'm sick. Juu na shindo wa shindo shule, ni tax, ni nini, ni food. What all this? Kwani ile serikali nyingine si aende akope na huko baada ya kunyanyasa watu wa chini juzi hakuongeza watu mshahara anataka hiyo mshahara tukatwe wapi tutakatwa wapi mimi nataka niambiwe nitakatwa wapi wenye wanafanya mshahara ya 17000 usikie taxi nakatwa sijua mimi singapi ataenda home na nini atalisha watoto na nini shule atalipa atakula na tax hapo this too much for us bana too much okay I'm already sick. Na shindu nianze wapi kesho ni shule inakugoja. Watoto watatu. Eh? I'm already sick maina. But now God will come for us and help us because we don't know where we are heading to. Okay. Thank you maina. Have a Thank good you. Day. You too my darling and have a nice week, huh? Okay, you too.